The command center of a U.S. Navy aircraft carrier isn't just a single room with a few officers giving orders. It's a highly complex network of stations, each playing a critical role in keeping one of the world's most powerful warships operational. The Bridge and Combat Information Center, CIC, form the nerve center of a floating city, coordinating navigation, flight operations, and combat strategy in real time. At the top of the island, superstructure is the bridge, where the officer of the deck, OOD, and the captain oversee the ship's navigation and movement. Unlike older vessels with a large wheel, modern aircraft carriers use a joystick-like control to maneuver their massive hulls, which can exceed 1,000 feet in length and weigh over 100,000 tons. The bridge offers a direct view of the flight deck, ensuring safe coordination between the ship's movement and aircraft operations. Constant communication between flight controllers, engineering teams, and radar operators keeps everything in sync. The bridge crew also monitors weather conditions and sea states, adjusting speed and course as needed. Aircraft carriers don't have traditional brakes. Instead, they rely on their rudders and engines to slow down or change course, sometimes taking miles to stop completely. Below decks, the Combat Information Center functions as the ship's brain, monitoring enemy activity, weather patterns, and friendly assets using a network of radars, sonar, and encrypted communications. Staffed around the clock, CIC personnel analyze intelligence, coordinate fighter jet deployments, and monitor threats. The dim lighting inside helps operators focus on glowing radar screens and digital maps. CIC officers are trained to handle complex battle scenarios, working with fleet commanders and strike groups to maintain operational superiority. The CIC operates 24-7, ensuring the carrier is always battle-ready, even in the middle of the night or during rough seas. The primary flight control, Pry Fly, also called the Air Boss Station, is located high above the flight deck and functions as the ship's mini air traffic control tower. The Air Boss and Mini Boss oversee takeoffs and landings, making split-second decisions that ensure safe operations. Fighter jets, helicopters, and surveillance aircraft rely on Pry Fly for clearance to launch or recover. The flight deck itself is one of the most dangerous workplaces in the world, where jets land at high speeds, catching arresting wires to come to a stop in mere seconds. Pry Fly must also coordinate with maintenance crews below deck to ensure aircraft are mission-ready and fully operational. The flight deck is only about 1,000 feet long less than one-third the length of a commercial airport runway. Overlooking the deck from a small glass-enclosed station is the bubble, where launch officers control the catapult systems that send jets into the sky. Older carriers use steam-powered catapults, but newer models like the USS Gerald R. Ford have transitioned to electromagnetic aircraft launch systems, E-M-A-L-S, which provide smoother, more efficient launches with less strain on the aircraft. The bubble crew operates with precision timing, ensuring aircraft are lined up and launched at exactly the right moment to maintain mission effectiveness. Emails can launch jets with precise force settings, extending aircraft lifespan and improving performance compared to steam catapults. Deep within the ship, the engineering and power control center ensures that everything runs smoothly. Nuclear-powered aircraft carriers can operate for over 20 years without refueling, providing sustained presence anywhere in the world. The power generated isn't just for propulsion, it also supplies energy to the catapults, aircraft maintenance bays, and crew living areas. The engineering crew must constantly monitor the reactor's output, keeping all systems running while ensuring the ship meets strict safety protocols. A carrier's nuclear reactor generates enough power to supply electricity to a small city. An aircraft carrier is also a floating communications hub with dedicated rooms for encrypted satellite transmissions, radio operations, and even old school signal flags and flashing lights as backup methods. Secure messaging ensures coordination with Navy battle groups, allied forces, and airborne squadrons. Communications personnel also maintain real-time links with the Pentagon and other command centers to relay mission updates and intelligence reports. Radio silence is sometimes enforced to prevent enemy forces from detecting the ship's location. Despite its size and firepower, an aircraft carrier must also prepare for emergencies. Damage control teams are on standby to handle fires, flooding, and medical crises. 
Every crew member receives firefighting training, as even a small fire on board can quickly become catastrophic. The carrier has an advanced medical bay with doctors, surgeons, and emergency responders who can handle anything from combat injuries to routine checkups. The carrier's fire suppression systems include foam cannons and thousands of feet of firefighting hose, ensuring rapid response to any incident. Not all aircraft carriers are created equal, and some have far larger and more complex command centers than others. The USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, the most advanced carrier in the U.S. Navy, boasts one of the largest and most sophisticated command centers ever built. The Ford-class carriers feature a larger bridge, an expanded CIC, and an enhanced flight control tower, allowing for more efficient multi-mission operations. Did you know? The USS Gerald R. Ford's CIC is significantly larger than those on older Nimitz-class carriers, providing more space for advanced combat systems and intelligence analysis. Another massive command center belongs to the USS Nimitz, CVN-68, which, despite being decades old, still maintains one of the most complex bridges in the Navy. With a full suite of digital navigation systems and manual backups, the Nimitz-class command centers ensure these aging warships remain combat-ready in the 21st century. Life aboard an aircraft carrier is demanding, with thousands of sailors working around the clock to keep everything operational, from flight operations to reactor maintenance, from intelligence gathering to damage control, every task is critical to the ship's mission success. Crews rotate shifts, ensuring that no area of the ship is left unattended. Training drills are conducted frequently to keep personnel ready for any emergency, whether it's an onboard fire, enemy attack, or complex battle maneuver. The daily operations of an aircraft carrier require more than 5,000 sailors, pilots, and officers working together in perfect coordination. From the bridge to pry fly, from the bubble to CIC, an aircraft carrier is a carefully orchestrated machine of precision and power. Every crew member, from the captain to junior sailors, plays a role in ensuring the ship remains at peak operational capability. The complexity and efficiency of these floating fortresses make them one of the most powerful military assets in the world. So next time you see a massive aircraft carrier sailing across the horizon, remember, inside, a highly trained team is working around the clock to keep this floating fortress in perfect command.